Caitlin, can you talk about your relationship with Paige Beckers and, and what you think of her style of play and the way she plays the game? Yeah, I think Paige is somebody that I've known over the, since really honestly, since middle school, obviously both growing up in the Midwest. Um, I think the biggest thing about her, like I talked about over there, is like I just really admire the way she's gone about her business over the course of the last two years. Obviously, she's been dealt a tough hand, and um, you know she's just so resilient. And the way she's been able to come back and lead this team back to a Final Four is something I really admire. Yeah, um, it seems like in the game where you're scoring like mid 40s, your best games, the record for this team isn't this great. How much does that speak to you know needing contributions from players like Gabby? Yeah, I think um, definitely getting everybody involved is something that I always try to focus on. Um, you know, I think when I'm above 10 assists, our team is very, very successful. I'm not sure our exact record on that, but um, yeah, I think that's been a focal point for us ever since we lost at Indiana. We kind of looked in the mirror and we really realized, you know, we have to get more from every, including myself, including, you know, the coaching staff, including every single person, whether you get in the game or whether you don't, you've really got to take a step forward. and be able to give more for this team and you know I think that's exactly what we've seen I think Kate and Sid and Gabby have all been just tremendous over the course of the last couple of weeks especially Sydney like the way she's really rose to the occasion and just thrived in this moment is pretty incredible especially for somebody that maybe you know has never been in a situation like this or really been in this type of environment she didn't get many minutes when we were in the NCAA tournament last year and um, she hasn't shied away at all Yeah, I think what drives me is just, you know, I think there's always room for myself to get better, and, um, you know, that's the biggest thing, and I think that's the thing with Coach Bluter is, like, she never stops coaching me. She always wants me to get better. She still feels like there's so many areas for myself to grow, and um, additionally, like, I love being in the gym. Like, I love working on my game, and that's where my confidence stems from is all the time that I put in, and I know I'm ready for these moments. And your on-court mentality, how would you describe it? I think, you know, I'm just a competitor more than anything, you know. You're going to do anything to win. Yeah, I think uh, we're similar in a lot of ways, but we're also very different in a lot of ways. I think uh, the biggest thing is, like, Paige plays off the ball quite a bit, um, and I usually have the ball in my hands quite a bit. Not that she doesn't do that, but... I would say that's probably the biggest, you know, difference between the two of us. And, um, you know, her game is just so smooth. Like, she's fun to watch. She moves effortlessly out there. Like, it's just so natural. It comes easy to her. But that's always been her game as long as I've known her. Like, you know, she's just very naturally gifted. And then she additionally works really hard at it. And that makes, you know, a great recipe for success. Kyle, as you guys kind of go through preparing for Connecticut, what stands out as, you know, big challenges that, that they pose to you guys? Yeah, I think the... The biggest thing about Connecticut is they're so fundamental and they're so well, so good in everything they do. No matter if it's defense, no matter if it's you know their offensive sets and what they run, they cut hard, they pass hard. You know nothing they do is any sort of sloppiness. Like you cannot take a second off when you're guarding them. Um, you know I expect them to pick me up early, um, full court. Um, you know I expect them to show on ball screens. Uh, I mean everything they do is just very fundamental and. Um, you know, having the experience of playing them twice in my career, I, I think we know that, and being able to use that uh, to the best of our ability will be huge for us. Blake, Caitlin, I wanted to ask you about the Do you feel like it's time to win the basketball to win the basketball? That's a tough question. I mean, it's definitely hard, and, you know, it's hard. People always want to compare the ticket prices between the men and the women, and that's not really something you can compare when the men are playing inside of a football stadium and we're playing inside of a normal basketball uh, stadium. And, you know, it's hard to get tickets for your family when, you know, there's not many tickets to come by. And, um, I mean, I think there's definitely the option for that. I also think, um, you know, playing in these type of environments is really special. Being in, in, inside the Cavs arena is a unique experience in itself. So I think it's definitely that's something that can be looked at. I'm not... I don't think there's a, really a definitive answer, um, but I think you know the more people you can get in the stadium and watch women's basketball, especially with the way we know the demand is for you know tickets and wanting to be inside and wanting to watch the game and the viewership numbers. I think everything speaks to you know more the merrier. So why not? Right there and back. Yeah, I mean, 
I feel like it's, you kind of look at the NCAA tournament in three weekends. I think that's kind of how you approach it. And um, obviously you're going game by game and, you know, everybody wanted to say our region was the hardest and, you know, obviously every region is hard. And um, I would say, you know, I think we've been prepared throughout the NCAA tournament for this moment, but I also feel like we've been prepared all season long. Um, you know, you look at some of our games at the Big Ten tournament, like, in reality, we shouldn't have beat Nebraska in the Big Ten Championship. They really had it in the bag, but we were just resilient and gritty and found ways to win. And then, you know, we play West Virginia at home. We don't play a good offensive game. We were resilient, find ways to win. And then, you know, our offense really starts clicking again. You know, we play two really, in my eyes, complete full games between Colorado and LSU. And I think just being able to use that as confidence coming into this weekend and, you know, no matter what, your, your season's either ending on Friday or Sunday. So, um, you know, hopefully we're here on Sunday. But for me, I think it's you're just able to have a lot more closure. Owen, oh, well, I always appreciate the days we can ask about somebody else winning an award. And we had Sharon Goodman win the Elite 90 last yeah. year. Allegedly, first person to win it two years in a row. How special was that, that? To, uh, to have her, to be able to see her do that and celebrate her as a teammate? Yeah, game. absolutely. I think Sharon is somebody, she's one of the best teammates I've ever had. She's so selfless. She cares about people so much. Um, and then, obviously, she's very smart being able to have a 4.0. And, uh, you know, obviously, she's decided to move on from basketball and go to nursing school, and she'll be a tremendous nurse. But to see your teammate get that type of recognition, especially somebody that maybe hasn't always had that type of opportunity, and um, I think we couldn't be more excited for her. None of us were surprised that she won it. You know, she's like one of the smartest people. She has a 4.0 every single semester. So uh, more than anything, just happy for her.